Hello and welcome everyone. How are you today? <laughs> well, today begins July 2018, the 1st of July already. Is that, I mean, this year is, <laughs> you know, it's like, I don't want to say it's racing by, but it's moving really fast, isn't it? 2018, halfway through. Well, halfway done, right? Well, I'm doing a monthly reading. I enjoy my monthly readings. Um, and I, I, I have a lot of um, situations I'm working on. I'm, I'm moving on to the final phase of um, construction in my home. Um, and I um, see, I got all these seagulls now, okay? For all, all these years, they want to come. And now, hey, hey! I see the seagulls, see, they're, they're fighting with the crows because the seagulls are the bosses, no doubt about it. I thought crows were the bosses of all birds. These seagulls, oh, I really want to, hey, 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 calm down, calm down. And they have no fear of me either. I go out there and they're just like looking at me, yeah? What are you going to do? <laughs> what you going to do? Ay, 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 calm down. Shh, shh, shh. Really, in here in Florida, you can be sitting on the beach eating a sandwich, okay, eating your lunch, and they'll just scoop down and get it from you. They have no fear, those seagulls. But the crows stand strong. The crows stand strong, but still. And they come in that flock of seagulls, you know, and they're big birds too, so. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so let's not change the tone here, but it's like, ay, ay, ay. And I can't, I just can't go out there right now, so. Okay, so anyway. So here we are in the month of July, and I have this um, information that I share every month when I do these readings, okay? But this July is, again, superlative that we have a solar eclipse in the sign of Cancer, ruled by Luna, okay? And then we also have a lunar eclipse. The solar eclipse will be on the 12th, okay, of July. And then on the, um, the 27th of July will be a lunar eclipse in the sign of Aquarius, okay? And when there's eclipses, it's just, everything's jacked up. Please, I'm not the astrologer, but you can all, you know, reflect on that. I'll, I'll add things to my Facebook page as we go. Okay, so anyway, and happy birthday to my Cancer friends, July, and happy birthday to my Leo friends, July, okay? Cancer water sign, okay? And Leo, you're a fire sign, as you well know. Okay, so this is the seventh month of July. It's known as a hay moon. But again, moon moons are named by different tribes because uh, I follow Native American wisdom here in, in the USA. And every Native uh, uh, you know, American tribe had a name for their moon regarding where they were located, you know, whether in the, in the north of the east, west, you understand. Okay, but I've chosen to work with this um, scenario here, and this is the hay moon moon of attunement okay and um it's leo king's moon okay king's moon and a uh, resonant and tone maya okay I, I still want to bring out the mayan wisdom it's so superlative but i it's very deep and i get you know a lot of people get lost with it anyway so here we are the south moon regarding uh, july and august okay um the birthdays of cancer and leo now, Tarot is the emperor, okay? Now, last month, because Cancer ruled by the Luna, okay? Last month, the Tarot was the moon, okay? So you can see how these energies are going. And here we have the solar eclipse and lunar eclipse going on. And for my uh, full moon in Capricorn, the emperor did come through. So you can see that it's, it's going to be a very... Uh, and with the fire energy, that's masculine, active, okay? The... The water is a uh, female receptive, earth female receptive, like Mother Earth. The moon is a feminine receptive. But you can see that there's a balance going on. But that, and here we don't read gender specific on my channel. So it's like, you know, women, <laughs> put your king's hat on. Okay, men, 
make sure you're thinking like an emperor the female too and look up and what you know this um solar eclipse and lunar eclipse very very powerful and we had the solstice last month for us in the northern hemisphere summer solstice is all very very powerful okay the herbs are honeysuckle lemon balm and jasmine the colors are green ocean blues and coral the stones are ocean jasper the petalite and aquamarine and the animals are crab turtle dolphin and whale and here we have in the state of florida many turtles are nesting now i even took a video of one i found on sand key known as clearwater beach dolphin you know how i love my dolphin and whales i, I love anything regarding the sea uh, i'm pisces sun so yeah i even brought out the mermaid deck here which i haven't done in a while because of cancer water sign i just felt we needed a one card pull from uh, the Oracle of the Mermaids by Lucy Cavendish. So let's see what she has to bring forward or the mermaids have to bring forward, okay? The goddesses are the Roman Juno, also Hera, the Greek, Sulis, the Celtic life-giving goddess, and Nephthys, I wrote this, is an Egyptian goddess, and she's the parents of Jeb and Nut, goddess of death and uh, lamentation, siblings Isis, Osiris, Horus, and Set, okay, and the offspring was Anubis, and Anubis in the Egyptian mythology is the, uh, he, he has a face of like a dog, a, a, kind of like a wolf dog, and he, he's the one who takes you to the um, underground, okay, um, he's about the dark side, the medicine, peak of summer, relaxed energy, preparing, dream work, and Lugnasta is a Celtic, um, uh, uh, you know, festival. Creative power to channel, action to inspire, okay? So you can see this is like really, um, you know, a lot of energy going on here. And we want to make sure that it happens for us and we harness it, okay? Here on this channel, 707, I just saw it. Okay, um, we want to harness the energies. That's how we do it, Okay. And that takes meditative time, that takes introspection time, that takes, you know, it's like when I sit down, when I want to do one of these readings, any reading I do, I sit down, I meditate, I contemplate on what cards I'm going to select, uh, you know, so what decks I'm going to select. And I did, I brought out the old, you know, good to go, the writer tarot deck. This has to be like 100 years old. This deck was done by Pamela Coleman Smith. You know what's sad about this woman? Um, well, she was the um, illustrator, and um, uh, as I understand it, Pamela Coleman Smith, she did all the artwork here, and um, they kind of consider her like, oh, the sun and moon wants to say, talk about us, too, <laughs> sun and moon tarot by Vanessa. I had to bring that out with this, you know, solar eclipse and lunar eclipse coming through, and I brought out my... Um, I, I love because Aquarius air sign it with that moon at the end of the month here, Tower of the Dreams, because it's about dreaming big, okay, dream big, dream big, okay, please. The, this 2018 is definitely going to take many of us towards where we need to go, okay, it really is, I mean, you know, if you're tapping spirituality, and, and, and a lot of people write to me, oh, you know, I'm working on it, but this happened, yes, my drawings, that everything, every day is a new day, okay, that's how you got to look at a new beginning, and sometimes we want to plan, and we, and some of us are very, how we are, um, maybe the word is anal, you know, you want to to plan everything, you're super organized, but sometimes it's best just go with the flow, spirituality is about that, you go with the flow, okay, I believe in that. But anyway, that woman, Pamela, she was considered like loca, you know, which is sad because now this deck has been forever around for 100 years. You see what happens about 100 years ago, they consider her, you know, not in her right frame of mind. So, But that's why it's best to do things on your own and don't share too much with people. Uh, and sad to add, sometimes it could be your family as well friendships that you've known it's best to just do it until you come through glorious okay um because and and really now you know a lot of people are open to you know being psychic aware 
and um, open up to tarot and mediums. It's, it's very fortunate. However, there's still going to be those that just do not, you know, and they, and they never will, you know, they never will. So just keep things, it's best, especially in your dreams, you keep things kind of secretive, okay, to yourself. You know, of course, you, you know, your loved one or your, who, you know, who you can trust, of course, but sometimes it's just best not to talk too much about what's going on in your world until it becomes, you flourish with it. Okay, let's see what we have to say here on this table. And um, I love that the Emperor came through for Capricorn, and now this is the month of Capricorn, and last month was the moon, and here we have Cancer. Again, oh boy, look at that, hold on. I'm trying to keep this a video not short, but I, I have, I want to pull a rune too, I have the runes here. And that's, I got to read from the books, you know, I got to read the storyline from the book. So let's just see. Okay, hold on. Let me just take a moment here. Let me take an exhale out here. smooth and the flow is happening that's how we like it okay happy july my friends make it happen for yourselves okay and uh the cancer vibe for those of you the birth codes or your beloveds have you know cancer in your their charts your mantra is i feel i feel it like clairsentient okay i feel it and the leo friends are um their mantras, I will, I will, I will roar. <laughs> yes, okay, so it's very powerful, all right, very, very powerful, okay. All right, let me see if I can bring this down more so we can see the cards a little better. How about that? Okay. Yes, right? Yes, 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 okay. All right, blessings to all my darlings. Oh, look who opens up the Capricorn itself right here. <laughs> Oh, Diablo came through right away. Okay, well, let's talk about him. Earth sign Capricorn. All right. Okay, so now, we, you know, with that full moon in Capricorn, it was very beautiful. I've been taking images of it. It was wonderful, okay, wonderful, wonderful. And we were talking about in that reading, you know, that the, the devil rules uh, monetary situations and karma and it's um you know and he's i i believe the devil has always been from the void always been before the light okay so what i'm just trying to say it's very powerful okay but he's very powerful in a way of not uplifting us he won't you know him and his team want to destroy us so Please understand that when we talk about the devil or demons, it's, we don't concentrate on them. Archangel Michael taught me that many, many, many moons ago. Do not concentrate on the evil, okay? So, um, and you see this deck is like over 100 years old, okay? But you see who came through. And he does. The devil wants to imprison us, okay? He truly does. He's not one that, you know, he he wants you to know he has his own judgment on you, okay? He'll, you know, 
dominate you. Okay, he's about condemnation. And like I said, he he rules the karma. So you get what you give in this world, no doubt about it. And he'll try to limit us and he'll try to restrict us. And he wants payback, you know, whatever. You, watch what you wish for, too. Watch what you wish for. Because if he's stepping in, then that means he's going to make it happen. But, you know, he wants to cut. He wants a piece of it, okay? This is not... um an energy that is um, that flows <laughs> energy that flows okay so we got to make sure that um you know that we stand him strong because the devil has much 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 wisdom like I added I feel that the devil has always been before the light you know he came from the void and he's always been before the light and we talk about it, especially, you know, if you follow the Bible, like, you know, God said, I'm going to, you know, bring Adam and Eve. And he says, just don't eat from this one tree and the fruit of this one tree. And, you know, the serpent, uh, the energy of the devil and, as the serpent. And, oh, you can do that, you know. God banishes them from Eden. And then they have two sons, Cain and Abel. One kills the other. You see, it's like the devil has always been. All right, but again, much wisdom with opening up this reading for the month of July, okay? And we've got these eclipses coming through that jacks everything up, astronomy-wise, astrology-wise, okay? And so pay attention, okay? Pay attention what's going on. This is, a, this is going to be another powerful month, and, and that Capricorn, Capricorn full moon was very, very powerful. Like I mentioned, I've been... I just took a, a video early this morning. I woke up with the sunrise, and there she was, bright in the sky, okay? Luna, shining bright. And I took a little mini video of it. but And I took another one with the storm the other night, which I hardly ever do that, okay? But that's how much I, I felt connected to that moon, the Capricorn moon. And now we have a lovely card here, the Three of Cups. Yes. How lovely. And the three is about that creativity and, you know, making sure that you uh, have, um, how do you say, uh, like the pyramid power. I always talk about that, too, you know, that you, you have that balanced approach, but that, that, like they say, that triangle energy is the most powerful energy um, in mathematics kind of thing. So it's um, very beautiful. Okay. And this talks about... Sort of like, you know, having that, um, that, that celebration about love and having joy and having good, good camaraderie, okay? You can see these three females are enjoying their, their day, okay? They're enjoying, they're cheering, they're, you know, it's like when you go to a football game or something like that, everybody happy, you know, baseball game, soccer game, everybody's involved in it. And they're on earth. I like this card coming through. This is a happy card. Okay. And uh, so, you know, be, be joyful. That's another thing. Let's be joyful. Let's be joyful this month. Embrace and harness these energies. Okay. Like I said, the devil has much wisdom. We can learn from him. You know, for those of you following me a long time, I watch all these murder shows. Okay. Because it's always the same thing. It's when the when the dark forces show up, it's always about sex, sex, money, pretty much, you know, and just doing downright dirty deeds, okay? But we can learn from that, and we can, you know, I, as me you know, as a medium, I know how to send them back to hell. We can't kill the devil, and demons never die. We can send them back to where they come from, okay? Let's see, the crows, the crows have sent the, <laughs> sent us, see, goes away. Okay, so what's the, oh, nine of fire here. Okay, nine of clubs. Yes, nine, okay, nine. Beautiful. And you know, I love those nines, right? Definitely. The nines, you know, tell us that, 
we are going to have an ending coming here, a completion time. You know, you've, you've set it all up, and now it's time to finish it off, okay? But to bring you to the new beginning of, or number 10 is transcendence, like you did it right. You know, you've done it right, you've worked it hard, you've accomplished it, and you can see, now this is the wands, um, fire energy, masculine active. This is about how passionate you can be about what you have to do, okay? And that's that's another thing about spirituality. You know, when you have that passion to do what you know you're born to do, because we're all coded, we're all meant, we have a, a purpose why we're here, okay? And this is one that says, I'm working it. I'm doing it. I'm going to accomplish what I came here to do, okay? So just realize that that's really important okay um don't don't ever give up on you all right just don't ever give up on you my darlings because what's going on here is really powerful and this month is a powerful month really go into that introspection contemplation time make certain that you know what you want to do and if you already know what you got to do more power to you we've been talking about that a lot this year 2018 is really one that's going to take us for those of you who've been you know considering well this is my balance this is what i want to harmonize with this is what i love this is what I, gives me peace you know and i'm not going to let my negativity or my ego get in my way i'm going to make sure it's a spiritual alignment with the divine you know align with the divine and, and let them, let the angelic realm, let the beautiful ones aid me on my mission. Woohoo, look at this. This is nice. For my cancer friends, your major arcana card came through, cancer, with the chariot. Ay, ay, ay. Chariot wants to say happy birthday. <laughs> this is nice. This doesn't happen very often. And you can see the, the person... Um, with the chariot and and isn't it you know it's got the bulls here too the Taurus bulls Venus in the in la casa también but he's got a cancer crab on his t-shirt there oh this is fun ah this oh this is a rune right here wait a minute I've had this deck I've never noticed runes in this card on these cards Okay, let me go. Let me keep going, though. But here we have Chariot came through for the cancer friends. Well, for all of us, this is a monthly read for all all people, okay, all, all zodiac signs. But this is the energy that we can harness. And for those of you, you know, cancer friends, please harness this energy. This is about being, you know, you're very, being cancer ruled by the moon. You know how sensitive we are, okay? You know, because I am sensitive to the moon. You know, as a high priestess to the moon, definitely I am. I, I follow her morning, noon, and night, okay? I truly do. And she gives us protection. I feel she gives me protection. You know, I truly do. That's why I follow her, because I, I pray to the moon. I really do. Like Native Americans, you know, follow the sun and the moon, and, you know, they just knew things that way. Very, I love... The Native American was, or people who follow those kind of codes, you know, earth, air, fire, water, and the elements of the stars and the moon. It's very important in my world, okay? But this is about, you know, maintaining your emotions, you know, the um, keeping that balance, you know, like we talk about this card, the chariot, because literally, you know, and the Egyptians were brilliant. They, I think, believed, I believe they built the chariot, but... You have to balance the animal that's pulling that chariot, okay? It's about equilibrium. It's about that balance, okay? And it's like earth with the balance of how, you know, the moon goes around the earth and then the earth goes around the sun, okay? It's a, it's a balance of perfection, okay? And that's what we have to embrace. Oh, the crows are calling right now. This is wonderful. Okay, let's put them right over the yellow, right there. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, well, see, I spoke too fast, but here's balance. 
We have two devil cards now. Look at this. I think this is a first right here. Well, let's do it like this because this one came first and then this one. See the balance? Okay, my friends, let's let's get deep for a moment, okay? So Diablo has come through twice now, okay? That, that says a lot, okay? You know, because Diablo is, you know, about material things and having that ambition. And we talked about it because I think that he, that he we were talking about the Capricorn full moon because Capricorn's uh, major con card is the devil. And it's like, you know, some of us have ambition. I think it's important, you know, believe in yourself. But some of them, you know, some of us are ambitious to make money like in the drug world or, or trafficking children. Like just yesterday on my cell phone rang two Amber Alerts. Amber Alerts when people are abducting, abducting children. And this is the first time I've ever seen this, that it wasn't just one child. The, the message on my, um, on my cell phone said, multiple children. Somebody abducted multiple children yesterday in Florida. How does that happen? I, I just, and you never hear of it. Even on the news, you don't hear about it. Ay, ay, ay. I don't want to change that vibe, but... I don't want to change the vibe of the table, but look, we have two devil cards in my hand, okay? So we have to really concentrate, you know, on, on, and the devil speaks about worldliness, okay? And like I said, I believe he's been here before the light, okay? He's not going away anytime soon, okay? But there's much wisdom. But you see how we have to balance it. Okay? And we are fierce and fearless. And we do not concentrate on the devil. Or we do not concentrate on the evil. Yes, it exists. No doubt about it. People abducting children. Multiple children yesterday. It, it just... I start praying. That's what I do. You know, because for a woman that I couldn't have my own children, that makes me sick. Because if they were my children, I'd, I'd become crazy. You know, not, I mean, I'd go for them. I'd be one of those. I'd become Terminator. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be on a hunt for them. Okay, but see, that's what, see how this chariot, uh, now this is for all people, even though I'm highlighting cancer here, but the, this is how we balance the forces that be. Okay. We need to take that balanced approach that's what we have to do and we can triumph we can triumph over our emotions or the challenges that come towards us you know and and cancer because you're the mama you, you know you're the nurturer you're about family and children okay and sometimes even our own family and our own children don't treat us right okay or or, or dominate us in a way or take advantage of us so it's all about balance and we talk about balance on this channel all the time because that's what you do. You have to have the balance, right? And again, you can't kill the devil and demons never die. But we can have the balance and we can we can sage our homes. We can pray to the Almighty Father, have a Bible in your house. So in the name of Jesus Christ, my house is protected. Okay, white light, bright light. You know how we do it, right? It's balance, okay? It's the balance. You know, no, can I stop a hurricane? No. Can these fires now, and the volcano in Hawaii? No, we can't stop it. But we can balance our lives and make it that we are not um, losing hope. Okay. Never. It's faith, hope, trust, and love, okay? We keep exuding love. Wow. Well, this is kind of mighty, mighty. <laughs> but that's why I love, you know, I enjoy picking random cards because I, I want it all to happen right now like it's happening, okay? But I, I know I repeated myself now ten times. The devil has wisdom. Okay. Never forget that. Never forget that. Queen of Cups, look at that. The Queen of Love now arrives. That's lovely. 
and she's got an ibis. I don't think this card from this deck has ever come through because we have many, many ibises here in Florida. See if you can see that bird right there. And they're very, um, they're usually in, in um, flocks. And many have, they, they like to eat the little insects in the grass because I have, I have many who come here. But look at this full moon here that she's uh, aware of, okay? And here we have that full moon is coming in the sign of Aquarius. You know, it's like a lunar eclipse, a jacked up full moon. So, I mean, this is when we really want to harness these energies. And the lotus, and see, the lotus plant is very intriguing because it grows in the mud, okay, in the darkness. Let's say like that, like the demon wants to bring darkness to us. But it grows in the darkness, in the mud, and then it blossoms in the water towards the sun. Okay, so you see the balance with that? Okay, that's what we're talking about. And sometimes, you know, you know, even just this few weeks ago when these two very high-profile people, you know, took their lives within days of each other, you know, I totally believe that the demons had them, you know, and, and demons jump, I believe in this, the demons will jump to the next one. You know, who, whose mindset or whose emotions are the same as the one they just took out. But that's why we keep the balance. And you can see, like, even the reflection right there. See that balance? There she is and the ibis in, in the reflection, if you can see that. Okay. This is what I'm saying. See, even though it's now the reflection is like um, a, a different shade, but it's still the light is... And it's the moonlight, okay? So whether it's sun starlight or moon light, bright moon light, don't ever give up on you, okay? It's called the balance, all right, the balance, okay? Yeah, this card has never come through again, uh, has never come through via this deck. And, you know, the queen, queens and kings, they've mastered themselves, okay? They're on this earth because they've taken the mastery to bring themselves forward. And and the queen of um, love, the queen of cups, the queen of water is usually known as that mother card. So that relates to the cancer vibe, okay? And here, cancer, uh, for those of you with cancer in your charts or having a birthday this month, um, you know, this is all about the balance again, okay? And and this energies right here, the Diablo's energies, you got to balance this. Okay. That's why we're fierce and fearless on this channel. We send them back to where they come from. Okay. We send them back. And you know, sometimes I curse on this channel because you got to. You got to say, get the fuck out of my house. That's how you do it. You do. You tell them, fuck off. <laughs> but again, the demons and the devils, you know, demons are creatures of the devils. But there's wisdom to learn what not to do. Where not to go, okay? And, and, and have strength of, you know, your willpower, willpower. And when you align with the white light, bright light, with God's angels, in the name of Jesus Christ, beloved Son of Father God, Mother Mary, okay? And His life, beloved Mary Magdalene, that, that kind of energy, you know, even though Jesus was crucified, here He rose again, okay? And that's what we've got to say. We keep the balance. Have no fear. We're fierce and fearless, okay? And that the queen of the mother card right here. Beautiful. You know what? I got to look up the totem animal wisdom of Ibis. I know I, I, I spoke of it because when Hurricane Irma came, I came home and there were these Ibises. And it was something that it talked about how um, they, they're the first to... Uh, the last to exit when hurricanes come, they fly off the last, and they're the first to come back to arrive when the hurricane's gone, the Ibis, okay? And this uh, actually, uh, God Toth, the Egyptian God Toth, who was, you know, the magician of the group, he, he uh, did the first writings for the Egyptians, he has a, a head of an Ibis, okay? God Toth, all right, very powerful God. I talk about him a lot too, um, but he has a head of an ibis. Okay, so 
you can see that the Egyptians obviously gave a lot of, you know, potent respect to that bird to depict uh, God Thoth, T-H-O-T-H. Um, uh, and Alistair Crowley, you know, my Egyptian tarot deck, my first divination set ever was Alistair Crowley's Egyptian. Now, you know, Alistair Crowley, he kind of like was, you know, he embraced the dark side, no doubt. But uh, so did the Egyptians, okay, in the respect. They called it the balance, the balance, how they'd weigh your heart to a feather. Look at this. This is now the Eight of Wands. So now we have the power success of the Eight of Wands here, okay? And this is um, the planet Mercury, Mercury glyph, and that's Sagittarius right there, fire sign Sagittarius. So, see, they have that passionate energy, okay? And 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 the, uh, the Mercury right here uh, is um, about communications, speedy communications, okay? And planet Mercury's uh, major arcana card is the magician, all right? is the magician so think like that magician and you know when we think like a magician this is how we send the devil back to where he comes from okay we really can i mean and you know like alistair crowley i'm sure he did seances inviting the devil in but i'm sure he knew how to send him back to hell too okay so it's kind of what we have to do this is when you talk about spiritual and spirituality spiritual matters spirituality you're talking about the ethers you know the invisible intelligence and the invisible intelligence intelligence is could be our ancestors or people who have passed or the angelic realm but also you know the demons are very intelligent creatures okay very intelligent so but what i'm trying to share again i'm sometimes i have to repeat myself because we have two devil cards here we can send them back to where they come from, okay? And that's the sadness with these two high-profile people. They didn't know how to do that, you see? And that's why we embrace spirituality, because sometimes we got to sit down. But that's why we got to go into meditation time, because when you do rituals to get rid of demonic forces or, or negative, uh, you know, ghosts, you know, people who haven't gone to the light... You have to be very strong with them, fierce and fearless. And you got to tell them, it's time for you to go. And if they're hurting you, it's time to get the fuck out. Okay? And that's how we do it. Trust me, people. Everywhere I've gone to, ooh, another queen, how great. Every place I've lived since a little girl, paranormal activity follows me. Look at this house. <laughs> Finding lovely Aunt Margaret in the wall that this bitch... That I bought the house from placed Aunt Margaret in the wall. But I found her. See? See, I, I was supposed to buy, purchase this home. To find Aunt Margaret. And then I found the husband in the, in the back of a damn drawer. Okay. But he he had lost. He was he went into a dark place. That's for sure. Because what came out that day. Anyway, I'm like, I don't want to change. The, but that, I'm just trying to tell you. Okay. Share with you. Okay. The paranormal truly does exist. Okay. And that's why we have to be our own magicians, okay? Badasses, high priestesses, call it what you want. But we keep the balance, okay? If there's, we're fierce and fearless, and just like Jesus said to Satan, when Satan showed up in, in the desert when he was there for four days, Satan, you walk behind me, motherfucker. <laughs> that's how you got to do it. Trust me, you can't be sweet and kind. But look now. Another and the queen of fire, she's my favorite because <laughs> she's full of passionate energy. Yes, this is fun. See, and this queen, because she's a fire queen, she's full of masculine energy too. Okay, passionate masculine energy. So she's one to work with. You know, if you feel you have to um, cleanse your house from negativity, call on this one and then bring this one through. So you work with her first to cleanse and whatever it is you have to get rid of and then you heal your home with this mother loving queen of hearts queen of cups queen of water queen of love okay and and the fire is the queen of wands in the um, deck of cards the queen of clubs okay 
So you see how this is like I'm holding the balance right here too. Okay. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. And you know, the same thing with the king of um, cups and the king of fire. That's how we do it. That's how we well, set them real strong there, you know, to tell them we're ready to get rid of you and we're going to balance it out. And we send them to where they got to go. Send them back to where they come from. And trust me, they'll be looking for someone else to, to mess with. But you'll have a house cleansed from negativity. I promise you that. Oh, the four of coins. <laughs> Laya con Dios. Here we go. Okay, so look at this. Well, I got to bring them out again. Okay. Got to bring them out again. Because now, this is the sun in Capricorn. And the four coins. And, and this card, even though to me, numerology-wise, force brings stability and good supply. Okay. And the coins is about resources, you know, the earth, um, satisfaction and finances, good values. But in the tarot, in the tarot, um, this personality, he's like hoarding his money, okay? And you can see his key around his neck, like he's the only one who can get into this box, okay? And um, here we have the Capricorn, which is the devil right here, okay? So, and you know, the, we talked about that, that the devil has rules the karmic money and, you know, that's why... I, Watch how you make your money. It's it's good to be a go-getter, be ambitious, work for the good. But if you're about money, 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 I don't care if I got to steal it. I don't care if I got to, you know, shady, shade on, put shade on people to get it, steal. You know what I'm saying? You know, and I, I, because I watch these murder shows and how many people, and now they got these shows called Killer Kids, and these kids kill their parents just for the money. Okay. It's like, so... That's again, money comes and money goes. Money has energy, okay? It truly does. Money is energy, but and and and, and if you're one of those that you know, um, <laughs> I don't I don't want to always talk about these murder shows, but I just saw one this weekend where it was this daughter killed her mother because this daughter was very into spending money on you know. Think she didn't need like more clothes, more shoes, or whatever. She was just one of those, and um, her, her, she was in the mother's will, and so she did. She wanted money, and her mother wouldn't give it to her, and so she she just killed her mother to get the money. It's it's sadness, but it's the truth. And usually, all I can say when the apples around, when these when people kill others, it's about you know sex money they were on drugs or something like that pretty much those are the three it's always about that you know and the sex is like oh you know you're cheating on me with somebody i'm gonna kill you <laughs> you know it's like that it's not funny but some of it is like where do they come from with this okay let's pick this card and i'm gonna pick a room right now okay but i'm um you know i didn't want to shift the energy on this table reading but because diablo came through twice um there's it's what we got to talk about, okay? It's exactly what we got to talk about. So uh, let's pick a room right now and see what happens. Well, let, let's read this one first. Where are we at? Okay, 42, 25. Okay, hold on. Let's see what we've selected. Farewell to the moon. Appreciate and enjoy the lunar light and cycles. Oh, look at that. Okay, that's a first. I don't think I've ever seen this card before. Okay, we're talking about the moon and... That we have a lunar eclipse coming here. That's wonderful. Farewell to the moon. Okay. Well, I've never written on it, so yeah, I, I've never. Um, I'm not a, a. Appreciate and enjoy the lunar lights and cycles. Okay, the mermaids. The mermaids sing. It says here, the mermaid sings. I won't read the whole thing, but let's just read what it says here. We love the moon, for she is precious, and yet we are bidding her a long farewell, appreciating her energy. Humans are not so long-lived, and their priorities often reflect their lifespan, 
but we know the beautiful moon is distancing herself little by little and the power of the sun grows stronger okay so that's kind of interesting because luna is uh want waning right now w-a-n-i-n-g she's shrinking okay towards this um solar eclipse uh new moon in the sign of moon ruled cancer coming up on the uh the 12th i think okay so humans are not so long lived and their priorities often reflect their lifespan but we know the beautiful moon is distancing herself little by little and the power of the sun grows stronger and here we are in the northern hemisphere you know we just had the solstice last month so you know the sun we're in the summer sun growth so we cannot as much as we can excuse me excuse me so we connect as much as we can when she is present and if you too watch the sky and her crystal ball you will feel the sea mother's tides and cycles dancing with the sacred moons waxing and waning that all in the universe breathes as one and that what is above connects and affects what is below humans too respond to the moon's tides to the solar tides to the galactic tides the great ocean may respond more readily but the firm earth also breathes in and out as do the waters of this beautiful planet all dancing with the moon and observed by this beautiful being of the sea okay so she's talking about this mermaid right here this beautiful being of the sea connect with her for she moves you always come to know her and you will know the mystery of life without ever being able to speak it it will live in your bones blood and cells in the water of your blood and you will be free of the falsehoods of your human time and come to know the times and cycles that are old wise and powerful okay well i definitely was not expecting this but let's go to the divination okay yeah we got to read the divination hold on a moment and the divination of this um energy in my hand it is as natural as breathing okay hold on oh look at this received on 3 27 13 full moon in libra talking about balance there we go libra all about that justified balance okay the divination it is it is as natural as breathing out and breathing in and to sink in we need to do nothing but live yet you are now being called to live in deeper partnership with the cycles of lunar c l a u l u n a r dash s e a lunar c so that the magic of your life becomes fuller deeper richer so that you live with more ease flow courage and gratitude there we go flow we talked about flow already we talked about courage have the courage when the demons come okay fierce and fearless have courage and wake up with an attitude of gratitude every day like the moon you shine and you dim you grow and you shrink all these things are taught by the simple observation of walking swimming dwelling in the oceanic magic spy moonlight if we learn to yield and captivate set the tone lead and allow another to take control at times all will be well this dance is echoed in the varying shapes of the moon as she yields to darkness then grows in brightness each month a, a woman bleed their oceanic bloods each lunar month in the 13 moon cycles observe the moon be under the her light withdraw with her darkening know what her phase was at the moment you first drew breath it need not be complex the simple connection will change you so that your true essence can come forth and be known by the world well this was kind of deep wasn't it my friends Hoo -hoo. i didn't expect that okay farewell to the moon and look at some uh, page 77 another code right there okay 77 appreciate and enjoy the lunar light and cycles well i know i'm one of them i love the cycles of the moon i sure do okay so where are we at all right 48 11. Okay, so let's see. Put one moon to close down this reading but 
Okay, so we know this. Is, oh, we got. Wait a minute, we got one more card here. Vaya, Vaya Cadillos. Let's see what we got here. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Another major kind of card. Okay. All right. Well, hold on. I'm not gonna show that room yet. The Fool. Major Arcana. See, this is the journey we're going to take. But you just, I'm kind of glad we picked it up at, you know, when I did. Because now we know. See this journey that we're on? Okay. And we have to make money in this world. We've got to pay the bills. Okay. But that two Diablos came through. We have to know how to journey on in balance. Just like the moon goes in her 13 moon cycles within the year. Okay. In a calendar year. Okay. And her phases of her moon. Every 28 days she cycles. All right. And, and that's why women connect more with the moon, I think, because of how, you know, we have the menstruation and all that kind of thing, okay? But also that cancer ruled by the moon, and here we're talking about Mama Cancer, and Mama Cancer's um, code came through, her major arcana with the balance, okay? So you can see, and again, we don't read gender specific on this table. We harness energies, so harness the Mama Cancer, okay? Harness the mama moon harness mother earth okay but then you know we can passionate fire male active like the uh queen of fire right here queen of wands get them <laughs> she's my favorite queen but here we have the fool get on that journey okay it's time just just make it happen for yourself okay because we need change in this world positive change and um, let's see, we have the sun here. But you see, look, we got the we got the alligator there. We got the tiger. He, you know, and then we got a butterfly. And here, the caduceus. This is the sign of the medicine that can bring us forward. Okay, but just be fierce and fearless. But I'm not saying being foolish. Okay, that's why you know they call it the fool here. Uh, but I prefer the word spiritual initiate. Okay, the phrase spiritual initiate. Because a fool makes foolish mistakes. A spiritual initiate is ready to battle on whatever comes their way. Okay? So here we're, we're here to battle on. And, uh, oh, you know, no, no, no. This is a Hebrew letter here. That's what it is. Not a Hebrew letter. Well, I've said it how many times I want to learn those Hebrew letters. Okay. So, truly... Um, with these two queens, master yourself, okay, and communicate. Got the Mercury and Sagittarius, another fire element there. So, um, you know, and Sagittarius ruled by giant Jupiter as well. So just, you know, it, it's really time to move forward. You know what I'm saying, my darlings? Just move forward, and um, it, it's with with knowing. Your core value, okay? That's kind of what it is. It really is about knowing your core value. And um, and we have this uh, uh, a lunar eclipse because we've been talking about the moon and the sign of Aquarius. And, you know, one thing about the Aquarius I love is their major kind of card, the star, okay? The star. So it's like, ah, oh, beautiful, okay? Okay, so hold on. This This is a ruin right here. But I, I selected it in reverse. But let's read it. Okay, this is the gateway. Okay, so this is the final rune. Okay, this is the final rune. So there's a lot of energy. Like in, in the tarot, you know, it's like when you get to Major Con number 21, the world card. Okay, it's like finally you've gone from the spiritual initiate. Okay, and you've gone through all, you've met two devils, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, you learn about the balance of cancer, mama, and you get to the world card, okay? So this is, in the ruins, it's kind of the same thing. You've, you've gotten to the gateway, why you become, and, and the Viking ruins were all about the warrior, okay? The warrior learning the codes to come to its final destiny, okay? And here is the gateway. So let's read the gateway, okay? Okay, hold on. Here we go. The gateway. Okay. Now I I I, I picked it reverse, but I want I'm going to read the whole thing because it's really important. This is like the final. Okay. 
rune. Okay, so this is like with a gateway for its symbol, this rune indicates that there is work to be done both inside and outside yourself. The name of this rune is Thuriaz. Okay, and this is God Thor. Okay, God Thor. Very powerful. Okay, actually, Thor is the son of Odin. Okay, the un Odin, the powerful one who, who spied the runes. Okay, so that's his son. And you, I'm sure many of you have heard of God Thor. Okay, Thurizaz. With the gateway for its symbol, this rune indicates that there is work to be done inside and outside yourself. Thuriaz represents the frontier between heaven and the mundane. Arriving here is a recognition of your readiness to contact the numinous, the divine, to illuminate your experience so that its meaning shines through its form. Thurizaz is a rune of non-action. Thus, the gateway is not to be approached and passed through without contemplation. Here you are being confronted with a clear reflection of what is hidden in yourself, what must be exposed and examined before right action can be undertaken. This rune strengthens your ability to wait. Now is not a time to make a decision. Deep transformational forces are at work in this next to the last of the cycle runes, which, which Odin is the final rune, okay? But, but in here, this is the last rune for for us. Visualize yourself standing before a gateway on a hilltop. Your entire life lies out behind you. You know, I'm going to put the spiritual initiate card right there. Okay, it's just to give kind of, you know, what we're trying, this rune speaks of. Visualize yourself standing before a gateway on a hilltop. Your entire life lies out behind you and below. Before you step through the gateway, pause and review the past, the learning and the joys, the victories and the sorrows. Observe it all, bless it all, release it all, for it is in letting go of the past that you reclaim your power. Step through the gateway now, okay? Oh, I got goosebumps with that one. Okay, but I did select it reversed, okay? So, but continue, where am I at? Okay, 55, 25, okay. A quickening of your development is indicated here. Yet even in times of accelerated growth, you will have reason to halt along the way, to reconsider the old, to integrate the new, take advantage of these halts, okay? If you are undergoing difficulties, remember this. The nature of your passage depends upon the quality of your attitude, the clarity of your intention, and the steadfastness of your will. Be certain that you are not 55, 55, I just saw it, okay, because i got to shut this down now. Be certain that you are not suffering over your suffering, okay? And see, that's what the demons, the devil wants, putting us in that suffering, you know, just like those two high-profile people, you know, back-to-back -back hanging. That's that's all this right here, uh, uh, absolutely, right there. They, they, they took the one and they took the other. They, the demons jump, okay? Never forget that. One more time, if you are going, undergoing difficulties, remember this. The nature of your passage depends upon the quality of your attitude, the clarity of your intention, and the steadfastness of your will. Be certain that you are not suffering over your suffering. Drawing through Rizaz reversed demands contemplation on your part. Hasty decisions at this time may cause regrets, for the probability is that you will act from weakness. Deceive yourself about your motives and create new problems more severe than those you are attempting to resolve. Impulses must be tempered by thought for correct procedure. Do not attempt to go beyond where you haven't yet begun. Be still, collect yourself, and wait on the will of heaven. Okay, my darlings. One more time. Do not attempt to go beyond where you haven't yet been begun. Be still, collect yourself. And wait on the will of heaven. And that's why we pray to Father God. That's why we pray with the angels. That's why. Okay. Because this is how we send them back to hell where they come from. Okay. Because we're not going to let them defeat us. All right. No. No, no. Nada. Okay. Nada, nada, nada. And that's why we pray. We meditate every day. We call in the beautiful ones. Whoever that is to you, you know, I have a global audience in the respect. You know, people follow the Hindu, people are, you know, from China, 
you know, everyone has their own, but the, the, the same process happens. It's a spiritual warfare out there between good and evil. Okay. So pray with the beautiful ones and let those dark ones go. Okay. Because again, we can't kill the devil and demons never die, but we can send them back to where they come from. And that way we don't have to take our life away from us. Okay. Because that's, that's what's the saddest thing I've ever seen what happened just recently. Much love to all of you. Enjoy this month of July. Harness, embrace these energies because this is going to be very powerful. And look, 2018's halfway through now and we want to close it down in a beautiful, beautiful way. Okay? And uh, happy 4th of July for those of the USA. Okay. Much love. And happy Canada Day for my Canadians. Ciao.